Hello and welcome aboard the Sweetwater Premium Edition 220 DFS. This is a great combination boat, uh, perfect for cruising with lots of great fishing features in the back. Let's take a look. We are up in the bow of the uh, 220 Premium Edition. You can see uh, how much room we've got up here. That full eight foot six inch beam, of course, with the pontoons carried all the way forward. Um, we've got a uh, nice size front forward deck here, as you can see. Um, underneath the uh, snapping carpet, which we'll talk about in a second, we've got this uh, full um, vinyl decking, very easy to clean. Uh, give it a scrub, rinse it down, then pop that carpet back on. Uh, a couple of other things I wanted to mention up here, um, we've got, uh, like I said, lots of room to move around. We've got beautiful stainless cleats up here. Also, LED docking lights. Uh, this is a real improvement over the uh, traditional halogen lights. Uh, much brighter, they last a lot longer. Uh, just what you need when you're bringing the uh, boat home in the evening. Take a look at this uh, beautiful Zephyr Tan uh, soft touch vinyl. Uh, double stitched, um, everything's so clean. This is called a duotone uh, upholstery. Uh, as you can see, uh, that, that tan nicely complemented by the, uh, by the black uh, uh, upholstery there. And here's a neat design. This is a removable armrest cup holder. Uh, your arm is just going to rest right here and easy access to your drink. And of course, uh, if you need to uh, uh, make a little more room, you move it somewhere else. But that's great if you've got lots of guests uh, sitting up here. This boat's actually rated for up to 14 passengers. So that's a, a really neat thing to have. Uh, tons of storage, <clears throat> like on all Sweetwaters. Uh, every single square inch of this boat is really optimized for maximum storage. Um, you'll really, really find that you're going to bring a lot of gear. Uh, like we said, uh, there's a lot of folks that, uh, that, that will fit on this boat. You'll suddenly find yourself with lots of new friends. Uh, so manage to bring all the towels and snacks and everything that they're going to need. Pop it right in here. Under the uh, rear facing uh, or the forward facing uh, backrest here, you can see we've got a, some additional storage. That's a nice angle, by the way, with those lumbar support rolls. And over here on the port side, we've also got a, a smaller lounge, and the reason for that is uh, that's going to leave us access to the uh, side entry gate. Uh, stainless uh, speaker covers up here. We've even got a uh, outlet for a 12 volt receptacle here. Uh, it's very very handy if you want to. Uh, uh, use the uh, trolling motor harness, <clears throat> hook up a trolling motor up here on the forward uh, bow, and you can see that uh, that'll help you move around uh, when you're fishing. Tons more storage up here as well. Um, very, very, uh, very handy access uh, to any other uh, fishing gear that you need in the forward section of the boat. Uh, but mainly this, is, this setup is for cruising, really for entertaining. You can see that we've got a, uh, a side entry gate, it's that simple lift and drop system. Note that uh, beautiful uh, black rail skin. That's a new metallic rail skin, I don't know if you can pick it up right on this shot, but uh, uh, that really sparkles out in the, uh, out in the sun, it really adds a nice subtle touch, uh, gives the, uh, the paint so a little bit of depth, but very nice. Also notice that uh, this gate is extremely wide, so your guests will have no problem getting on and off the boat from the dock, um, especially if you've got kids or folks that don't get on the water very often. Simply lift that and you always know it's going to be closed. Uh, that's especially important when you've got kids on board. I want to show you the, uh, the helm here on the 220. You can see it's this uh, really heavy duty uh, fiberglass, extremely sturdy. It's not going to flex when you're out on the water. Uh, also extremely easy to uh, maintain. Uh, that's a big difference because you're buying a boat, you want it to last a long time, and uh, having a nice sturdy fiberglass helm is uh, a great way to uh, get a long, long uh, life out of your boat. We've got some uh, dedicated cooler storage down here. Pull that out so you can see that, but that actually comes with the boat. Um, always nice to be able to get that uh, cooler out from under your feet. Uh, get it a nice place to tuck it away, and of course that, uh, that door just closes uh, securely. Moving over to the uh, cockpit lounge, you can see we've got a nice L-shaped lounge, rear-facing uh, uh, backrest here. Again, that beautiful duotone upholstery with the Zephyr Tan and the black uh, upholstery touches. Plenty more storage underneath the uh, backrest here, as well as under every single one of these uh, cushions. We've got all sorts of room 
put everything you need in there. Even this corner seat is going to reveal a, a, even another uh, accessible tub. Uh, plenty of room for all your uh, extra life jackets, uh, tow ropes, anything that you're going to bring along in the water that you might need. We've also got a uh, setup for a pedestal table here. You can see there's a receiver. It turns into a nice uh, uh, entertainment area. Uh, extremely easy to, uh, to get lots of folks and serve food and extend your boating day. Speaking of extending your boating day, take a look at this uh, canopy. The uh, bimini at top for this boat is actually uh, a couple of feet bigger than uh, previous years for 2014. Um, nice sturdy uh, aluminum uh, bimini structure here. Extremely stable design. Even when you've got the bimini deployed on a, on a windy day like this, extremely solid. Um, got the uh, uh, Almost half of this boat is covered with the uh, with the bimini now, so you've got plenty of shade. Make it really easy to get the family in, get them out of the sun for a little while. Really help them enjoy their day on the water that much more. Uh, also new this year is the protective boot is now made out of the exact same material as the uh, bimini top. What that's going to do is uh, allow it to wear exactly the same way. Also, you clean it exactly the same way. Really, really neat uh, uh, look here with the uh, Sweetwater logo as well. Take a look at the uh, captain's chair. Um, as you can see, uh, it really is a, uh, a work of art. Extremely comfortable with these bolsters on the side. That's going to give you that feeling as you're being held into the seat. Uh, adjustable armrests. Uh, we've got the ability to uh, rotate around and uh, have a conversation with the folks in the, uh, in the cockpit lounge. It also moves back and forth, forward and back, so uh, you can really, really get comfortable driving this boat. Let's take a look now at the uh, dashboard of the uh, 220. You can see that uh, everything's really well laid out. All your switches, of course, right to your fingertips. Uh, oversized, high contrast gauges. Uh, this little screen here is uh, uh, really mostly designed to keep the uh, sun from blasting right down on your, uh, your instrument cluster there so you can't read it. Uh, really, really uh, adds a lot uh, when that sun is directly overhead, help you see those gauges. Uh, we've got a, a Sony Marine Stereo here. Um, Got an auxiliary input, uh, so you can plug that uh, smartphone or iPod directly in there and play your own music all day. And then, of course, that uh, safely uh, uh, shuts down to keep the, uh, the elements away from it. Uh, and to keep that uh, smartphone charged, we've got a 12-volt uh, receptacle. Uh, really, really nice uh, soft-touch uh, tilt steering wheel here. It's adjustable fully. Uh, so between the adjustments you can make on the captain's chair and the steering wheel, you can really find a nice spot to cruise on this boat. Plenty of real estate for aftermarket electronics. Again, this is a, uh, a fishing uh, setup uh, in the back half of the boat. So uh, we've got a Lowrance X4 Pro fish finder, which is an option. Uh, really uh, nice, uh, intuitive, uh, easy to use unit. Stainless uh, cup holder for the captain and nice positioning on that Yamaha throttle. Moving to the aft deck of the 220, you can see we've got uh, uh, lots of different uh, fishing uh, options back here. Uh, this package is really, really well designed uh, to, to have this combination cruising and fishing package. But let's take a look first at, the, uh, at this optional uh, rod box we've got back here. It's a really convenient setup. It's, of course, right, right behind that uh, uh, captain's seat. And what you can do here is actually take this. It's almost like a, a, a rod and reel briefcase. Uh, put your rods and reel in here, secure it with the bungee. You can actually carry it with you uh, back into the house or um, uh, back in the car. And you pull that back out the next day. There's lots of uh, extra storage up front here. So you just slide that entire thing in here and it's good to go uh, whenever you get to the uh, next fishing hole. Again, that uh, simply just uh, drops here and locks right back up. So it's going to be very, very convenient, especially when you move back around here because uh, just taking a look at it, overall, we've got um, two really nice deluxe fishing chairs. These fishing pedestals are uh, the suspension type, so they're going to have a nice give to them on a, on a choppy day like today. Uh, you're really going to feel that difference. Extremely comfortable seats. Of course, they swivel all the way around, providing plenty of access to the, uh, to the other uh, features we've got back here. We've got uh, 
cup holder, rod holder on each side, directly mounted on the uh, side rail here. Going to be very easy access to the uh, fishing chairs. Got a large, large uh, prep area, including a, a recessed um, pocket for each side. It's going to allow you to, uh, if you're tying, uh, tying hooks or tying uh, uh, your lures, it's going to sit here and if the boat hits a wave or something, it's not immediately going to slide off. A couple more cup holders as well. Um, sitting back here, you can see we've got um, nice access to more rod holders. Uh, that's just going to be very, very easy to get to. For instance, whatever the species that you're fishing for that moment, uh, if you've got a different setup ready to go, that's really handy. A couple more rod holders back here. You can see right here we've got a live well, or you could use it as a bait well, um, right uh, at your fingertips uh, sitting in these seats. So really, really handy. Not even going to have to bend over for that. Also, um, since this is designed as a, uh, as a cruise uh, model, uh, you, we've also got a really nice, convenient pop-up changing room here. You can see uh, that is a very, very nice size. Also provides a little battery access too, but uh, if you've got kids on board and may want to uh, stow a uh, porta potty back here, or at least at the very least let them you know, out of their uh, wet clothes after they've been swimming, they're gonna just enjoy that day on the water uh, that much more. Heading back to the, uh, to the rear uh, swim platform here, you can see that um, the rail system has been designed at an angle. What that's going to do is give you a little more real estate, whether you're stepping onto the boat on the uh, port side or whether you're climbing back into the boat uh, with this aluminum uh, boarding ladder. Nice wide treads, big aluminum grab handles, pull yourself back up. Give you a quick look at that here. And you can see that uh, that's give you a nice stepping point, get dried off when you get back in. Simply lift and drop that, it's very, very simple. Uh, also, uh, notice again that uh, beautiful uh, black rail skin, it's really nice design. This boat is uh, rigged right now with a uh, Yamaha 90 horsepower outboard, but the boat's actually rated up to 150 horsepower. Well, I really hope you enjoy this look at the incredible Sweetwater Premium Edition 220 DFS. It's the perfect fishing and cruising pontoon. Till next time, this is Captain Steve.